Four guys, look at this. 72S. Look at that condition. That is a beauty. Oh yeah. Wow. I mean, just look at my book. That's a good replacement. Okay. I'll tell you the next thing I find. Roll five, and we got our first Wii of the box. So, pretty good sign. Let's see what it is. Nice. Probably 50s. Yep, 55D. Okay, we'll keep hunting. Guys, I knew I should have kept you on camera. I saw this coin like this. And I was like, oh, that could be a weedy. And I was just going to show you guys this one. Because it was weedy. Like this. And I was originally planning on showing you guys this one just to check. And look. 1934 is what I think it says. It's a little messed up. Yep, there's the weeders. Wow. Roll five. And we've got a double weedy roll. And the second weedy we find. A 1934 Philadelphia. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're going to keep hunting. And hopefully we can find stuff as good as this. So, that roll five. I have not gotten a double weedy roll in a while. Roll six. Oh, they didn't see any wheat backs, and so I just kept laying them out to see what there was, and look at that. Wow, very next roll, and we already have three Wheaties. It's a 42D. Three Wheaties in the first six rolls. That's one Wheatie every two rolls. That's a crazy amount. Let's keep hunting. It's Canadian. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right here. 74. Cool. It's halfway through the box. No 80s, except for the ones I found before. Let's see, we've got a... A 34. Hold on a second. Yep. And, uh, the Canadian. Oops, right there. And then, uh, 42D. S. No, it's a D. And then, a 55D. So, if you're watching this video, there's obviously some good stuff in here because I haven't gotten any, anything good, and I won't post this video unless I find something good, so. Okay, we finally broke the drought. Roll 27, and we've got a weedy. I believe it was a 45S. Yep. Roll 29, and we've got ourselves another weedy. The drill is definitely being broken. Let's see what we got. 53D. Nice. Okay. We'll keep hunting. Guys, I wasn't even thinking of this as a possible weedy, but do you see how worn it is? I haven't even seen the date yet. It's really hard to tell, tell, but I'm pretty certain that if I flip this over, I'm going to see wheat ears. Yep. Wow, guys, look at that. Six wheat penny of the box, and I, this could be my oldest wheat penny. 19. Oh, man, I'm really not sure. 
I'm going to get out my uh, magnifying glass and see what I can see. I'll get back to you. I don't even know what to think anymore, guys. I tried cleaning it. My first impression was 1914, and I kind of freaked out, but I really don't know anymore, guys. One thing I do know is that if you um, look, uh, let's see, right there. I checked for VBE on the back and didn't see it, but if you look right there, set this down here. I can't see a VBD, so that would mean it would have to be 1970 and older. Ni no, no, 1917 and older. So that's what I know so far. Other than that, the only clear numbers are 19. Other things I see, I kind of see a 4 at the end, maybe. Kind of looks like a 34 or a 14, like I said. I don't even know. The middle number could be a 4. I feel like the more you zoom in, the harder it is to tell. So, um... Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm going to try taking this to a coin shop. See if they can tell. I don't know. Okay, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Oh, by the way, um, this was roll 9, so ninth to last roll. So, we're getting close to the end. I just got the most rare 2009. 2009 Philadelphia. I also got a 1950 Okay, tell you what else I find. 68S in that same roll as the 2009. Pretty good shape. Okay, we'll keep hunting. Is roll 47, and we've got ourselves a weedy. Probably the last of the box, but you never know. Let's see what this is. Looks like a 40s and 50s. Hmm, could be older. Actually, yeah, it could be older. I'm thinking maybe 30s. Uh, 52. Yeah, 52. Okay, we'll keep hunting. Alrighty, guys, here's the wrap-up. So, I've got nine 2009s. Kind of ironic. <laughs> nine 2009s. Uh, one Canadian, 1974. Two toned coins, 1980 and 2014. And then here are some of the coins that I need to replace in my book. They're all pretty shiny. And then uh, we've got a 68S here. And then, of course, we got um, seven Wheaties, uh, 42D, 52 Philadelphia, 53S, 55D, 34 Philadelphia, and a 45S. And of course, the last one here, we've got this mystery date. I am still not sure what to think. Really hard to tell. Even if you magnify it, can't tell anything really. I mean, your mind will kind of play with you. You'll see one number then and another later. So, I'll take this to a coin shop, see if they know. But if you guys think you know, let me know in the comments. Because I really don't know. And then I also have these 2017 P's right here. So, yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like this video. And also stay tuned, because tomorrow, me and my brother are going to pick up some half dollars, so, see you then. Guys, I just have to keep looking at this. I actually think it might be a 1914D. If you see it at the right angle, it definitely looks like a 1914. 
Not like definitely, but I think my first impression was right. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing, but at some angles I can see a 1914. And if you zoom in on where it looks like there's a mint mark, even if it's an S, they're both pretty rare. I just put it in my book for fun, and I just kept looking at it, and it really does look like a 1914D. Then again, I'll have to take it to the coin shop and see. There's just no way to tell for sure. I'm going to try to get a few more angles on that, but it just really looks like a 14D to me. And guys, if this is a 14D... Oh yeah, look at that angle. This is the ki kind of condition you would find it in because no one would suspect it to be like this. So, I'm pretty excited. I'll take it to the coin shop. We'll see how this goes.